in this video i'm going to discuss about the max edges problem which occurred in the november long courtship 2022 courtship contest it states that you're given a gra uh, uh, a graph with n vertices among which k vertices are sources and l vertices are sinks okay this is k this is l and this is n uh, now a source is something and uh, let's say a vertex from from which only it can be directed outwards and the sink is something from which the uh, to which it will be directed only inwards okay and the remaining that is over here one source one sink and the remaining is one that one can be anything it can have this and this or have nothing at all okay so now the question demands is we have to find the maximum number of edges that the graph can have so the first thing about this question is we have to let's say let's call this as a hybrid okay hybrid that is both can happen this is a sink and this is a source okay and this is this is nothing because this doesn't contribute to any edge so we are going to ignore this in which nothing happens okay so the question is let's say let's place the k vertices first okay k vertices first the k sources these are k times okay they are k times then comes hybrid let's say there are uh see hybrid is basically n minus um n minus k minus l right that is total number of vertices minus source minus sink becomes the hybrid okay so this, let's say it is uh, h okay let's say this h so this is h number of times this is k number of times this is h number of times and about the sink it is l number of times okay so let's say this is l number of times so we know that over here it is going to come like this okay all these are having like this okay or something like this okay and over here it can go like this and then it can go like this 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 okay and over here only going out so now let's say for this one how many ways can this go out so it can go out and connect to any one of these okay or it can go and connect to any one of these okay so there are how many k okay so how many edges are there for each for each there are a uh, this is h plus l okay for each there are h plus l okay let's not consider this as h let's consider this as n because we are going to modify this as n equals to n minus k minus l okay because h is not in the question it would be better so this becomes n plus l okay n plus l times for each of the source there are n plus l edges coming out of it so there are k sources okay this is k into n plus l um then for all these n hybrids it can go and connect to this this and this 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 that is l times so it becomes n into l and these hybrids can connect to the other hybrids okay this 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 and then this can connect to this 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 you get it this can't connect to this okay this is a very important thing because if this connects it in the question it state that it is acyclic so it can't connect so this is basically the let's say there are n so first this connects to n minus 1 times this this connects to n minus 2 times and finally to zero that is sum of first n minus 1 integers okay that is n into n minus 1 by 2 okay so this is basically the answer now there is a very ex this is we have to basically print this this is the result okay now there is a question there is a difference in this okay that is what if what if l plus k okay l plus k is greater than n that is in this case it is 6 okay this is 5 now comes this thing okay we have to find out how many these things are there that is nothing is nothing goes in nothing goes comes nothing goes in nothing comes out from this okay 
I think this I made a mistake. This is not a hybrid. The hybrid is it goes in and it comes out. Okay, this is a hybrid. So nothing goes in and nothing comes out from this. So this is the speciality of this. So how many this are there? Okay, obviously it will be k plus l minus n. So that is if n. So now let's come to the code directly. One second. Um. So it becomes if n is lesser than zero. First of all, we will make n minus is equals to l plus k. If n is lesser than zero, then um, l. Okay, if it uh, so n is equals to let's say n is equals to math dot abs n, then l equals to l minus n. K is equals to k minus n, and n is equals to zero. Okay, now long answer, and answer is equals to this whole thing, this whole thing, and then print answer. That is the basic thing of this whole pro problem. Okay, thank you.